Hello. Oh, there, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Did it again. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Uh, happy, happy Monday. Um, it's vile out there. I've just got absolutely drenched because I went over to the shop this morning, didn't bother with an umbrella or anything, and left the shop, and it's pouring down. Like, absolutely, well, you'd think it was the middle of winter, not July. <laughs> Typical, though, for school holidays, isn't it? So, uh, so hopefully you've got a little bit of sunshine by you, and it's not quite as vile. So, uh, how is everybody? Everybody okay? I do hope so. Oh, it's too slurp, hot to slurp. So I drew maybe a quick cup of tea and I was just like, I need a drink. Oh no, it's too hot to slurp at the moment. So who's coming online? Who's there? We've got Jenny, we've got Anne, Sonia, Heather, Claire. So far. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hi, everybody. Um, so we're silly busy in the shop as ever. Um, but we've got all the Hachan daughters have come through from Friday. So because they don't come through over the weekend. So um, they all came through today. So that has been... The little print, poor little printer has been throwing out orders left, right and centre. And uh, we've got our Shani home for the weekend as well. So she's come home um, from Margate. So she's popped in today. Well, not popped in. She's with us all day today uh, in the shop um, helping pack all the orders. So, uh, yeah, she's <laughs> she's on a weekend off and we've got her in the shop working. <laughs> poor cat. <laughs> so, um, but it's lush to see her. It's nice to see her. We haven't seen her since uh, since before lockdown. So I mean, we, we talk a lot on video chat and stuff, but... Yeah, it's nice to actually see her. So, so yeah, busy, busy, busy. And also with the website as well. Good grief, you ladies went crazy over the weekend. Lots and lots of orders over the website, which is lovely. So, um, so yeah, we want to have a, a big trip to the post office this evening. <laughs> um, what was I going to tell you? On talking the website, um, we've started to put... Group, could you turn that down a little bit, please? Thank you. Um, on the website, I, uh, yesterday, I put a load of ready-made items on. So when we make a sample for a Chanda, um, if that kit sells out, we know we can't do it again in that colourway. So I put a load of um, samples on there. So it's ready-made items. So um, there's things like the bento bags. You know, if you didn't manage to get the kit, but, oh, actually, you just don't want to be bothered to make one, they're on there. There's some cushions on there. There's um, a couple of quilts. There's some of the project wallets. There's loads of bits and pieces on there, some bags and things. So... Um, there's a whole new section on the website which is called ready-made items and anything in there will be you'll you'll get ready-made okay uh, and we will continue to add stuff to there as well okay so it might be that um, actually you need a quick present for somebody you know we won't tell anybody you just pretend you made it <laughs> we won't tell <laughs> but no um, there's lots of bits there okay so just to let people know that that's that um, we will be doing another congrats congratulations to Tina. I understand you won the raffle on Friday, so well done. We will do another raffle um, that will happen during the week, but we'll pop a post on Facebook to let you know about that. Um, so we're gonna we're doing all things Christmassy this week. It's all about Christmas because we're doing Christmas in July, following on from Hachanda on Friday. So I thought I'd show you some bits. First thing I thought I'd show you is um, this. So you might, uh, if any of you watched the demo that I did on the 7 p.m. one, was the twist and stitch ruler, the Jim Taylor one, um, and I did it in Christmas fabric. So I finished it off yesterday, the block, and actually it comes out at a 12 and a half inch block. So it would actually work really well in your isolation quilts. Okay. So we do have about three or four of these left. Um, so give us a shout. You have to. They're not on the website yet. So if you wanted one, you'd have to give us a call. But I will try and get them on the website this evening. Um, but it just made. I think it looks really, really cute. I really like the the idea. And if you watch the demo, you'll have you'll have seen. So I just thought I'd show you uh, show you the finished project. So um, what else was I going to do today? We're going to do a table run. Or it doesn't have to be a table run. I'm going to show you um, show you a, a, a technique. Well, not a technique. A, a pattern. Um, in a moment. There was something else I was going to tell you ladies today. What was I going to tell you? Drew, talk to me. Who's there? Anybody commenting what I think? Linda says she's trying to watch while she's in the minibus. <laughs> oh, bless you. Linda's, uh, <laughs> Linda's in the minibus at the moment, so uh, <laughs> hopefully your signal stays on, love. <laughs> um, oh, I've forgotten totally what I was going to tell you, you guys. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. We're going to do a challenge post this week. Um, we will put together a little bundle of Christmassy fabrics or, or meat items and things, but I'll pop a challenge post on later on this evening onto the Facebook page. 
um, and I want to see all your Christmas stuff okay so please post all of your Christmas stuff it could be an advent calendar you made last year and you're still using it could be a Christmas tree skirt it could be just a Christmassy quilt it could be um, some crackers did you make some homemade crackers fabric ones or something okay so or did you make the felt wreath um, last Christmas Sarah ran the most beautiful wreath um, with all like felt decorations and stuff um, which actually we're hoping to run again this year um, you know so I'll do a challenge post for all show us your Christmassy things okay I know it's July but frankly it feels like December today because it's cold and horrible so um, so that's what we're gonna do is all things Christmassy I'll pop a post on and you can post your pictures so what I thought we'd do today is this little table runner okay it doesn't have to be a table runner it could be a cushion cover it could be a block it could you could make it bigger it could be a really nice wall hanging you know for like on the back of a door if you're you know, decorating for Christmas and we're going to use um, one of Crafty UK's templates okay I will put a link in um, onto our Facebook page where you can buy this template okay um, it's Joe and Andy um, we see them a lot of shows they came to our um, modern quilt guild meeting back a little while ago and they he d they do some amazing templates rulers templates we they do all our he he does all our white gecko ones for us as well um and they had this one which i've had for ages and ages and ages actually um i've had it for about four or five years and i've used it loads actually lots and lots not just for christmas stuff but i did a a really big hexagon quilt as well and i used it for that too but i thought i'd show you guys this okay so i did this one yonks ago and it's in real traditional Christmas trees, okay? Using half hexes. Um, it doesn't have, sorry, Drew, there we go, so you can get it. Um, you could decorate it however you want. I'm gonna do it today in sort of more modern colors and see what how different it looks, all right? It doesn't have to be Christmas trees. On the, I don't know if you can see on the pattern. Um, don't, there you go. I don't know if you can see on the template, he's got, uh, actually got them there as well so you can see how it works but he also does with using the same template you can make a snowman too look like this which i thought would just be really really cute it doesn't have to be a table runner it doesn't have to be a bed runner you could make that block and make lots of them into like a christmas quilt or something but i thought it was just quite a nice it's quite a nice little technique and um they were really reasonably priced as well these all his rulers are as well so it's definitely worth checking out they've definitely got a facebook page they don't have a website that you can actually buy the templates from but you can facebook message and he'll put your names on them and they've got loads and loads and loads loads of different options so um i thought we'd have a go at this today if that's okay so anybody comments in there anybody about um jenny said i'm sure i made this one Yes, probably. We did do we did do it as a class ages and ages ago. Oh god, in the first year I think it was. So so yeah. So you want six half hexagons in each of your colours. So you want six in your background fabric. So I'm just gonna use this white and then I'm gonna use a little mixture of these sort of like what these sort of more tealy turquoises and all as well. And I thought it'd make more of a, a modern um sort of that icy blue type christmas tree rather than like the real traditional colors although i do really like the traditional colors but i just thought let's see what happens with different colors okay so you want six of each so i'm going to fold this one in half and i get four stupidly i should cut another another piece of fabric shouldn't i but we'll, we'll only make one side of it anyway because it's just a repeat and the nice thing about his rulers are you really can just stitch all the way around uh, cut all the way around can you see this little piece in the center here as well that's you use that for the star okay to make the star in the center and you've also got a bit there which allows you to make the the square for the trunk okay so i thought i'd just show you guys how the hexagons go together because you have got to kind of think about your points a wee bit so i'm going to stand up and i'm going to cut out cut out my cream ones okay like this so all the way around like that okay and i'm just going to turn it so i can get round easier like this 
line that back up. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, how is everybody? Everybody okay? Suzanne says hi. Hi, Susie. How are you? Okay, so, quick as that, I've got my half hexes cut. If you wanted full hexagons, you would just cut it on the fold. So, actually, if I just show you on this, this fabric here. Okay. Um, if you wanted a full hexagon... Actually, I can probably get it out of that. Right, well, let's not be too wasteful with the fabric. Get it out of that. So if you wanted to do a giant, yeah, look, there we go. If you wanted to do a, a like a giant hexi quill, either English paper piecing or machine sewing, you could really quickly cut your hex guns like this. So I don't know if you can see. Um, there's a a little dotted uh, a little line. Here, so not the very edge of the ruler, right along that line there. I would line that up on the fold of the fabric so that when I cut round and opened it out, I'd have a full hexi. Okay, um, really nice, a quick, easy way of doing you know, big, big hex guns if you wanted to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to cut a few at once. So I'm going to lie these out. And again, I've just pulled these out of my stash. I have no idea where these come from. I should probably have done it in the beautiful New Liberty. Oh, it's so yummy. So yummy. I put that on the website as well, actually, this weekend. That's gone on. And uh, it is delicious. It really is. So. Anna asked, where did you get the ruler, the half hexagon ruler from it? It's from a company called Crafty UK. They are on Facebook. Um, I'll pop a link to them on later, but um, they do lots and lots of different um, rulers and things. They do all of our... Drew, can you see just behind me that, that two and a half inch one, the white okay. gecko one? So they're the guys that make all these for us, the, the white gecko rulers. They make all those for us. I've got lots of his templates. Um, I've got some circle templates of his. I've got all sorts of English paper piece and templates, but they do a lot, lot of rulers. Um, it's definitely worth... Um, they, like I said, they don't really have a website. You can't order via a website, but they do. If you drop them a Facebook message saying what they want, they're mega quick at getting stuff out to you and getting back to you. Okay. But yeah, and they're lovely people. We we know them really well from the shows, Joe and Andy, and they are just really nice people. So, so I'm going to line all these up, lie these out. I'm going to be brave and try and cut six at once. See if this works. <laughs> So, any other questions there, ladies and gents? Uh, no. no. Linda says, uh, Thomason says, uh, Danny's chasing rabbits and wolfing in his sleep. <laughs> Is that a Danny your dog? There we go. So, I'm going to lie this one out like this, okay? And I'm going to stand up because I'm much better stood up with when I'm cutting through lots of thickness. Okay. So, I'm going to line him up like that. And we're gonna all the way round this one. Nice sharp uh, rotary blade always helps. I'm going to make myself move rather than trying to move the fabric. Okay. Here we go. Did I get it all? Ooh, nearly. There we go. Nice thing I like about his rulers as well is they um, he does like non-slip stickers on the back of them. So um, they really do hold when you're cutting around them, which is fab. Okay. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. And I should have now, let's get all this, all this blurb out of the way. I haven't got enough white ones. I need to cut another two, but I'm, I'm just going to do one side of it um, today. So uh, I can cut those later. So just give that a little press. So talk to me ladies, how are you all? I was knackered this weekend. It was a long old drive from back from Achanda. Um, Cause I'd left, I left here about half past nine and didn't get back till just gone midnight on Friday. So yeah, it was a well, seven hour drive, three and a half hours up there, three and a half hours back. So yeah, quite a, <laughs> quite a long day, but never mind. It was, uh, it was good fun. It was nice to be back in the studios. So there we go. I'm gonna. Oh, I only cut five. I meant to cut six. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I will repeat some. So, in fact, let's just swap that one out. Let's use. 
let's use that one and that one okay so for one side of the the tree the table runner and you could make this as big or small as you want okay i want three like full hexagons and then you're going to cut your white ones in half okay now if you don't can't get hold of this ruler you could actually i suppose just draw out a hexagon out of cardboard or template plastic and draw around and do it but this these rulers just take all the all the hassle out of it okay what we want to do is um actually cut that in half okay so on the ruler again you can see that there is like a little halfway line as well okay so you want to cut in half so what i'm going to do is just mark where that halfway line comes in two seconds just grab a Frickson pen. So I'm just going to mark, line that back up, mark there and there because that's my, my halfway line because he's done all the work for you. And then I can line up that on there like that and cut these in half. Okay. And then these are going to sit either side. Oh, that one's really curly. It doesn't want to stay flat. Oh, okay. so. so, did any of you watch Hachanda? Anybody watch Tune In? So, these are going to sit either side. Like, right, there we go. Like this. Okay. I'm going to do the same with this one. So, it's going to go down like that and like that all the way down and do this one as well there we go. um it was lovely to see paula again we've worked, i've worked with her a couple of times um and i worked with yanis this time as well who was um it was new for me i hadn't worked with him before but um yeah it's lovely they look they look after us they look do look after the guests really well it's um it is nice uh, okay so what we want to do is we're going to pop these so you'd end up put sewing one of these on each side like this okay i'm going to pop this one on like that okay so i don't know if you can see this you see where this little flat piece here is that little point there is and that point there you're going to line those up with that point there and that point there okay hopefully that made sense let me just double check that that's right I did this I did this yesterday and then I'm like is that right let me check yes that's right <laughs> my brain went completely blank then so I'm gonna line that one up there and that one to there I'll grab my pins anybody having a chat anybody mm. saying anything Wendy said yeah what uh, yes watch both programs they were great oh good 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 Jenny said, I've got the app on the Fire Stick, so I can watch it. Ah, uh, right, yeah. I've got the app on um, the Roku. We've got a Roku, so, um, yeah, I put the app on there. Okay, so we're going to put that little point there against that one, like that, which means that that point should line up with that one. And again, pin them down. Okay. So you might have noticed we've got Drew today. Um, so the restaurant's not open. Oh, that pin's knackered. The restaurant won't be open on Monday and Tuesday, so Drew's going to film Monday and Tuesday for us. Um, so he, I think you missed it, didn't you, last week? <laughs> didn't like. <laughs> I'm sure you liked Alex doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch. It. I was too busy. I don't know if he did it. Restaurant was uh, was busy, wasn't it? Mm. There we go. And we'll pop this one in here, and then we're just going to stitch down these. Okay. This is really so you know really simple. It looks a bit odd now, but it is a really really simple little pattern. But it's really effective. I think it looks really it would look beautiful in a you know sort of um, in the center of a Christmas table. Or I actually think if you made a longer one, you could do it. You know you could do a double, or you could do like snowmen or something all the way down. Um, on the back of a door, I think it would look fab. So really lovely. We did that with, again, on Hachanda, we did that with the the circles, simple circles ruler. 
and Sarah made that, hopefully you saw it, that really beautiful, looks like baubles. She made that um, door hanging. It was really fab. It looked really, really good. Really good. Right, okie doke. Let's pop over to here. Oh, everything's moved. Because I took the machine with me, everything's kind of moved where it normally is. <laughs> okay. And you're just going to stitch down a quarter of an inch. Okay, now you've pinned those in place. They're just going to go down a quarter of an inch either side. Busy day yesterday. Lots of uh, stuff onto the into, uh, onto the website. Did that spray painted uh, a radiator copper, which actually looks amazing. I wasn't sure it was going to work, so my haul is slowly being done. I was very reluctant at the moment to do it, do any DIY, um, but the hallway is slowly being done, and I decided I really hated the white, old white radiator against the the new paint colour. So I ordered some spray paint, like proper radiator spray paint, but in a copper colour. Looks really good. I was really pleased with it. Wasn't sure it was going to work, but it did. It's nice. So, uh, so I was trying to get him to buy a new radiator and he wouldn't. <laughs> so I was like, right, I'm spray painting it. And if it doesn't work, you'll have to buy one then. Right, okay. And then you're going to just gently iron these back. Okay, like... That. Okay, and then again this one. So what did everybody get up to at the weekend? Anything? Anything exciting? Uh, Suzanne said the baubles look brilliant. The baubles, yeah, they were really cool, weren't they? Yeah, so I did such a lush job on that. It was really nice. Let me get that pin out of the way. And so simple as well. But if you put the bond web on first and then use those rulers to cut out, so so simple. Okay, so popped one on every, each side, and I'm going to put one the other side. A bit like this, really simple, but really effective. I think if you were make, having to make some Christmas presents, oh, you could do a bag, couldn't you? You could do this as a, like the front of a bag. That would look really nice. Okay, again, I'm going to line up the, the point here, where you've got that little flat bit, the point there with that point, and the point with the point, like that. There we go. Got some pins. I keep dabbing my pins down. What did everyone else get up to? Anybody Martin do anything? Said I was at work for the weekend. Uh, back on furlough now. But back on furlough now. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I remember you. I, you uh, saw on Facebook you, you were uh, you were working. So uh, we've seen some lovely uh, blocks happening as well this uh, this weekend. Or going up on the giggles page. Some really nice stuff happening. Well, not just blocks, actually. All sorts of uh, yummy things. Yeah, some really lovely bits. There we go. I'm going to pop that one on there. So, did you see this quilt as well on the on the agenda? Kath did such a beautiful job on this. Kath mm -hmm. made this sample for us. She did a beautiful, beautiful job. We've got, I think, two two kits left so if anybody wants one give us a shout but i just love it i really love it i think it's so such a clever just looks really good as a wall hanging and i'm not a massive one for putting quilts on walls but i just think it's beautiful so. sorry excuse me slurping my tea well i've done nothing but talk for days <laughs> need to keep rehydrating so again just quarter of an inch all the way down so so what else could you do, ladies? Come up with some ideas. What else could you do with these hexes? What would you uh, play around with? You could border them. You could put a border around them, couldn't you? And then, um, oh, like that stained glass quilt that we did ages and ages ago in the shop. That would work. Uh, Sheena asks, hello, what's the Giggles page? The gig, so it's our social page. So if you, in Facebook, um, if you search uh, a giggle of geckos, um, that's our social page where lots of people post pictures and you all chat to each other. It's lovely, actually. It's a really nice, friendly space. And you can just ask to join and um, we just approve your, approve your thing. And uh, yeah, you can just request, request to join. It's a little social group. It's really nice. There's um, lots of the ladies chat away to each other. They all um, 
post things that they're making, ask advice and stuff, and everybody kind of helps each other out. It's, it's lush. So it's called A Giggle of Geckos, and it's um, it's our social page. Okay, So, yeah, go ahead and find it and uh, have a little look, see what's going on. So, again, I'm just going to put, put this one out this way. Okay, and then you can see you've got the kind of layers. There we go. And that one. I think I might have got a bit wonky there, but never mind. I'll just trim that one up. I like that. Now, you could absolutely decorate these. You could applique into them. You could put buttons and, and things on them. You could use some little felt, you know, circles like baubles. Whatever you want, really. Whatever you want. So... We're going to then sew these ones together, okay? Like, actually, which should we just have that one next, shall we? Let's have sort of a, a greeny one in the centre, like this. So we're going to sew those together. You can see, well, obviously this is facing me, but you can see the start of the uh, the Christmas tree coming. Okay, so I'm going to sew that one to that one, like that. And we're going to add that one on the bottom. Okay, back over we go. Me and me, did you see? I even had to move chairs on a chander. Nothing's ever quite in the right position. I'm such a nightmare with seating. Okay. These, you could make these look like giant baubles as well, couldn't you? If you did them rather than the snowman, if you did them together like that, and then like embroidered a, you know, a bow and all on the top and string. So, any questions or comments there, Graves? You said thank you. I'll look. For, um, I will go. I will for it now. Oh yeah, please do, lovely. It's uh, it's lovely. It's a they're re it's such a nice little social page. Everybody's really friendly. Uh, Sandra said I made a large hexi quilt with bright colours way out of my colour comfort. Ah right, out of your colour, out of your comfort zone, was it? <laughs> yeah. Be good for again i know we always talk about scraps but we always have if you're anything like me you always have loads and loads of scraps so if you think about it if i put that one like that you could you could stitch two to get two fabrics together and then cut out um you know put fold them and cut them out as whole hexes you know so you could out of your scraps cut lots and lots and just do a really really big hexi quilt which would be scrumptious i think i like hexagons i haven't got the patience i do i don't mind english paper piecing and it is something i i do if i'm traveling because it's such a nice easy project to do but i haven't got the patience for it it doesn't grow quick enough for me but I, there's something really lovely and traditional about hexes i always kind of they feel make me feel quite nostalgic so Caroline says, I'm going to be really sad with my retired maths teacher, maths teacher head on, um, but technically the a half hexagon shape is an isosceles trapezium. Ah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> that's not sad, lovely. That's good. That's knowledge. I never apologise for knowing stuff. <laughs> What's it? An isosceles tra trapezium? Isosceles trapezium. Cool. I'm not sure I can say that very well. Can I just keep saying half hexy? Because <laughs> isosceles trapezium <laughs> might be a bit, uh, a bit of a mouthful. But So that's five times after a couple of gins. <laughs> It'll be all right after a couple of gins, yeah. <laughs> but uh, cool, thanks, love. See, I, lo I learn stuff all the time. I like that. I would never have known that. There we go. Okay, so... My old boss used to say every day is a school day, no matter how old, how old you are. Oh, too right. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. We all learn stuff all the time, don't we? So, can you see? There you go. That's the start of your little tree. Okay? Like that. And you would make another piece like this, which is going to go the other way. All right? Um, to make the little... I just realised I didn't pick up any fabric. Mm, do. Hang on. I wonder if I can use this. Yeah, let's have a bright red star so to make the star you need six of these little ones in here so you're going to use this little piece here okay so if i just cut two so you would put all this together so i would do three this way and then three the other way you know facing so that like this 
um, so they look like that okay so they would look like that okay and you can do the little trunk which is literally just a square with two white pieces either side again it's in the pattern with the ruler but it's you know I'm not going to show you that because it's it literally is just a square with two pieces either side but I thought I'd show you how to cut out the star so you would make that piece and then you cut out the star so if I put these two together and you need six of them and then we can pop this on like that and I you would draw these out rather than I'm hoping you can see this typically oh, hang on I've picked up the wrong color pen for you guys to see let me just grab a different Frixon anybody else there I'm trying to find a Frixon in the right way Linda says she's gonna watch again later all right Bye. lovely have an amazing time hopefully the weather is a bit nicer down by you Oh, oh my pens are run out. Hang on. Nearly there. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So you'd need six. Uh, you can just do this. Now you could do this onto bond web. So you could um cut these out, bond web them on, or what I did on the original one is we turned it under. And I quite like the, the turned under. Although I'm saying that, I'm quite liking the, the rounded points. It looks more sort of snowflakey like. So if I just pop a pin in, just keep those two together a second. Like that. But yeah, this is definitely something you could have a little play with. I, uh, I like the idea of just sort of, you know, like messing around with them a weeny bit and going, right, what can I make? What could I make this look like? You know, I think it would be really nice... Um, the snowman done in like a frosty blue colour, you know, background. So it looks like he's out at night or something, you know, like that. And use some pretty white fabric for the for him. And it'd be quite nice to uh, decorate as well. You get really creative with your decorating. You could, well, mind you, saying that if he was going to be a tape runner, you wouldn't want anything too bulky, would you? But if he's going to be a door hanging, you could knit him a scarf and all sorts. You know, you could like really, really play with the decoration if you're going to do a do the snowman there we go so I'm just cutting these ones out like that now you'll need six I've only cut four but I'm not going to show you the whole thing don't need to see that many seams the and these would sit like this obviously all the way around to make the star again you could alternate colors they don't have to all be the same you know you can really have a play with it and then you'd get six all the way around with this one just like we did that with the last one you're going to fold them like hold, right sides together like that and we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch okay if i can get the other can i get the other one out of that little piece of fabric let me just have a quick look see oh yeah with a wing and a prayer i can just about get that carolyn what's what's this one called because it's like a diamond but it's got flat ends what would we call this one? <laughs> I call it a squish diamond, but it's not quite, is it? <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to go down this one. So you should have seen that Sean had put on, um, I think yesterday or day before, what we've got going on this week. So tomorrow we're going to do some crochet and we're going to make some snowflakes. And I'm going to show you how to make some really nice snowflakes and also how to make them... Um, we're going to um, block them and I'm going to tell you about how to make them stiff so they hang up as, you know, like decorations. And then Wednesday, I've got, I'm really quite pleased with this block. I've got a really, really pretty block for you on Wednesday, which I'm quite excited about. I've been playing around with this for a little while and uh, I was doing it yesterday evening, trying to make sure it worked and everything. And it really does work and I really love it. So <laughs> um, that's on Wednesday. On Thursday, Sarah is going to show you some felt decorations. Um, so I think she, we're going to do some Christmas decorations that so you can use as hanging decorations. There we go. You can see I've got all six now. And then on Friday, Sarah's doing Friday again. Um, and she's going to show you how to make um, one of these. It's like a little holder that you can put like your dog poop bags in it if you're a dog walker. 
um, but I think you can put like a bottle of like little spot of hand sanitizer in there as well so it's this really cute little holder so she's going to do those on Thursday and Friday because then she's off on holiday well she's not going anywhere but you know she's off for a week so you've got me all the following week so uh, she's she's doing two this week so uh, I'm going to go set my tea again uh, Caroline's Caroline sorry uh, said it's a rhombus or a parallelogram oh um, remember that <laughs> word from school parallelogram if if the sides aren't all the same length oh, no the sides are all, well no because they, they cut off that oh I don't know I don't know but I do like that word I like words that oh is it onomatopoeic words words that like feel nice when you speak to them and they like bubble it sounds like what it is doesn't it so uh so yeah a parallelogram that's a really nice word to say Susanna that's where you put in the cut instructions for what lovely where, uh, yes, where, where are you putting the cutting instructions, please? For what this? for, lovely? For this? It's all on the, the hex suit. It's all on the, the ruler. So um, I'm kind of highlighting Andy's rulers today. So, um, but like I was saying, you could, if you don't want to have to buy the ruler, I suppose you could you know, draw yourself out a large hexi and go for it. But there aren't cutting instructions as such for this because it's all part of the ruler and there's cutting instructions in the ruler, okay? Um, there we go. So all I did was just sew down a quarter of an inch on those, and you can see that's that's all come nice at the point there. Then, so again, I'm going to do the same for this one. Karen and Cindy ignore the flat ends; they're in the seam. Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. You're ignoring those ones there. So I'm just put. I'm lining them up like that, but ignore that. So when you sew down, you're actually sewing down to this point here. That's that's basically a quarter of an inch seam allowance, okay? So if you measured a quarter of an inch in from there, it would come off that point there. So you don't actually get the the end bits, okay? Like I said, when you're applying this to the table runner, okay, um, you could. Bond, you could make this and then bond a web it on and stitch all the way round, blanket stitch all the way round or satin stitch. Or you could needle turn. You could turn it all under and then stitch it on. I'll tell you up to you. She said, what about the Wednesday? I think, I'm assuming it's Wednesday. Oh, you want the Boy. cutting instructions for the Wednesday block? Um, they will go on Facebook tomorrow, okay? Um, haven't done the last couple because the last couple have been like experimental blocks. So it wasn't something you could necessarily follow along with. Like last week we did that hexy one, didn't we? And it wasn't really, um, what's the word? It wasn't really a pattern as such. We were having a play with something. So that's why there wasn't any cutting instructions for that one. But the cutting instructions for this one will go on to Facebook tomorrow on the normal main page. Okay. But yeah, I'm really quite pleased with it. It's really, it's come out, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's come out really well. And it's kind of Christmassy as well. So, so I kind of, I've kept it for this week. Okay, and then you would literally just sew these together. So I'm not I'm not going to do that because you don't need to watch me do that. Okay, so I've sewn them in pairs, and then you would sew your pairs together to get your star. Okay, so you would if I just lie this out like this. So this would have your your white one. So you'd have one going one way, one going the other like that. You'd make your whole thing, and then. You'd pop this one on like, where is it? There it is. So that would sit in the centre. But like I was saying, you could play around with this. You know, you could do it in different colours. I wouldn't necessarily do it in this bright red. I might do it in a hot pink or something. Um, but yeah, so that would sit there like that. And you could you could make more, you could make it longer if you wanted to. You know, if you wanted to do more um, hexes before you put the little trunk on. But I just wanted to show you basically this ruler and what you can do with an isosceles trapezium. Yeah. Yeah? Is that right? <laughs> Half hexy. Um, and actually, it, it works really well with Christmassy projects. I really liked the little snowman as well. I think he's he'd be really, really cute. Okay. But again, you could decorate him up all sorts of ways. You could applique into him. You could free motion into him. All sorts. Okay. So yeah, so if you want this particular ruler, it's Crafty UK, who, like I said, I'll put a link on Facebook. Um, if you didn't want to have to buy one in particular, I suppose you could draw yourself out a, a hexagon uh, and work it out that way on graph paper, maybe. 
You could do it in different sizes if you wanted to. Um, but that makes life so, so much quicker and easier. <laughs> so quick and easy. So any little questions or comments before we go? Okay. Hopefully that all made sense. They, you know, it's not a particularly difficult one. I just wanted to kind of show you the technique. Okay. There's no questions or comments. No? no? Okay, duck. Cool. Um, we will see you tomorrow then with some crochet snowflakes. Um, I will put the cutting instructions on for Wednesday and then I've got a new block then on Wednesday to show you. Um, so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go back of the shop and carry on packing and cutting and packing and cutting and packing and cutting. And um, we'll see you all tomorrow at one. Take care guys and girls. Bye.